So you know how I got that frog? And uh, frogs eat crickets. The silent crickets I got have escaped. And I'm not even joking, they're having a party in here. It's driving me mad. However, I'm hoping that because they don't have too much to eat, um, and there's quite a few spiders in here, they will either eventually fall in a tank or just die out. But all I can hear is crickets in here at the moment. It sounds like a jungle. Um, but I wanted to just give you guys a really quick update um, on just how everything's looking. Um, I can't believe it, but it's actually a year since we moved into this new fish room. Um, and I wanted to just kind of like just change up a little bit. Um, so as you are looking here, this is the end rack. Um, I'm still going to mess around with some of the top tanks. We've just got the um, Mike Taylor Pub uh, and Sorgi in that top tank now. Um, and then the rest of them, they're just um, like cycling at the moment. But I'm probably still going to like drain them out and um, like restart them anyway. But check this out. We have sand and we have plants. Isn't it amazing? Um, so I decided to, you know, make the tanks a little bit more attractive. Um, I popped some food in for everybody, so hopefully there's a couple of characters out and about. My sunshine plug over. I'm not sure what's going on with her eye. I think that's normal. I don't know. Her eye looks like it's got yellow spots developing on it as well. Interesting. Um, my little contradence placos are also in here, and I noticed that this uh, female here is very, very fat very very round you can just about see it in the reflection um so i might pop some breeding caves in this tank even though they'll probably struggle um with the uh what they call surgical cichlids in here but basically um we might be moving house soon so uh i've moved the moon tank uh the moon tank is now shut down so um everybody's up here now in the fish room um, what else have we got in here? We've got those lovely Corridorous Bethanes, who always seem to have a little bit of sand on them at the moment. Really, really attractive. Beautiful, beautiful Corridorous. Um, tank below, we've got the little Puka Poyensis, doing really, really well. So the males have the blue flecks on their fins, and the leopard crocs are in here. Is you can you hear those crickets and like they'll run out and i'll try and catch them and yesterday there was one in my coffee cup um after i'd finished my coffee luckily but i put my hand over the top of the coffee cup um and by the time i got over to the Oscar tank um it somehow got out and i don't know how they're um teleporting crickets um little baby still bears doing really really well so yeah, the purposes of this video literally is just to show you what I've been up to this week. Um, it's been quite a busy week and I've still got more to do. You can probably see a big old mess behind me where I'm still sorting some stuff out. Um, but hopefully, um, long term, this is going to be alright because, you know, doing water changes and things. The reason I got rid of the sand in the first place is because I kept sucking it out when I was doing water changes. Um, but hopefully this time around it'll be a little bit better because the tank's been running a while now. But no, I feel like um, these tanks are looking really good. Um, this one, bleh, this one um, is still a bit murky. Uh, it's got the L136 in it. Um, this one, I can't really work out why it's so murky. Um, water's testing out fine. I've turned the flow down as well. Um, but yeah, this one's probably the only tank that still needs a little bit of work. Um, this is the Angelicus um, Clown Placo tank. There's not really supposed to be any Clown Placos in here, but it is uh, Angelicus's and Clowns. There was movement there. Um, and then up here, we've got the Snowballs, who this tank has been notoriously cloudy recently. Um, still working on getting it really, really clean, um, but I've uh, got Mooncake in here. Mooncake, uh, that tiny little better, wasn't doing very well when I picked him up. He was only like two centimetres long um, and the shop just gave him to me for a fiver because he was right in the top. Um, and I've just put in this, uh, 
they're not, I'm not going to breed them because uh, Mooncake's an alien butter anyway, so he's a hybrid as it is. Um, but I've actually just popped this female um, next to him because um, he was looking a little bit sad and he was sort of like doing that thing where he's just sort of sat on the bottom and not really bothering much. Um, so I've just popped her in next to him and um, the difference in him now is night and day. That's sort of given him um, a new raison d'etre. Um, but little snowballs doing really, really well. Really beautiful bunch in here. Alto one, Orinoco angels. Um, and then, yeah, this tank here is the uh, blue phantoms. And there's also um, the Rio Paraguay babies that were born here as well. Um, beautiful little babies. They look very, very similar to the um, Rio Teenage, the uh, L519. But they are growing up really, really nicely, doing really, really well. <laughs> These two passes are actually quite funny. So yeah, I've done it so that they can't see each other all the time. Um, and you know, she'll probably get bored of him. But um, they're both quite old. They're probably both past it. Um, but I thought, you know, while, while they sort of live out the last maybe six, six to 12 months of their lives, they can uh, have a little bit of company, a little bit of flirting. But yeah, you can see Mooncake just, he's a little bit like wobbly. Um, he's just getting that thing that they get where they're just not quite right. He's still eating, he's still flapping about, but um, yeah, it seems to tend to happen with them. The ones that have been quite overbred as well. I mean, he's a hybrid, so it was always going to be a little bit 50-50 on him. Um, but there's Wormer in here, and I am going to probably put some Rubos tea in here as well for him. Um, but he's definitely packed up a lot since I popped her in next to him. So um, I'm wondering if he was maybe just a little bit bored. He seems all right. Just his back seems a little bit, like, curved to me. A little bit like old butter syndrome. But he's a very different fish now from the little brown thing he was when I picked him up. And so this is the other tank that's changed. Uh, so I've got uh, a lot of the Corridorus over on this rack now. Um, so I got them out of the tank with the mustard spots. So these are the gorgeous little Corridorus white smarnii, ma white smarnii eyes, white smarnii eyes. Um, two spot quarries, two saddle quarries, something like that. Um, really sweet little fellows. They do remind me of pandas, but they actually get um, this, you're, you're not seeing things, they are actually a little bit pink. They get this glorious like pink and green on them um, as they mature and I think when they're breeding the bellies go bright red, um, which is very cool. And they almost remind me of melon barbs. That's kind of what they remind me of, that's why I always think watermelon when I see them. Um, and then next door, this is the L236 tank, um, but I haven't got too many of those left now. So we've got the gorgeous little orange uh, Venezuelan quarries in here, which are actively breeding. They are breeding up a storm. Um, the pluckos are going around and eating their eggs. I think you can just about see one egg there. Um, is it an egg? Is it a reflection? I'm not entirely sure. That might not be an egg. I don't know. Um, but no, they are going absolutely mental in here. Um, I'll see if I've got a clip of them the other day when one of the females had actually managed to get an egg stuck on her dorsal. Um, and then in here I've just got that, um, those funny sort of orange guppies that I'm working on as well. So it's an orange tank in here. Um, but we've got all of the quarries over on one rack, which is very pleasing to me. I like things nice and organised, um, except the ones that were over in the other tank, the Bethany's, um, which they're a little bit too big for this rack. Um, not too much in this one, but as you can see, everything's quite matchy-matchy now. So over on this tank, it's moss instead of the dove fern, but everything's got like a piece of wood in it. Um, and then this is the... Rio Atene's tank, which is also still a little bit murky, but I did do um, a lot of like moving around in here. So they're doing well. Um, I can only see one, but I gave them a good feed yesterday. Um, and then yeah, there's loads of random shrimp in here as well. Um, so this tank, once again, piece of wood, pebbles, 
the whole thing and some random guppies in here. Aspidora's tech has not changed. Um, I'm not changing the recipe down here because this is just working. Um, there's so many of them. Just multiplying all over the place. And then this tank is the little, uh, what's left of the little albino breast noses that were born here. Um, and my Napoensis, which these would be breeding if it wasn't for the um, little Japan blue envelopes that are in here. So I've got Japan blues in here, and then um, up in this tank, what I'm doing is uh, these ones that are um, Russian lace. These are like ones you would consider to be culls from the Russian lace. So basically all of the males that don't have red on them, I'm taking out and breeding out this lovely like cobra pattern on them. Beautiful snakeskin cobra, sort of wild types. Um, so that's what's going on in here. And all of the ones from um, the ones that I don't want to breed to go into other random tanks. So we've got various random guppy projects going on. Beautiful snowball. Having a munch. Those two still continuing. Don't breed your betters if you don't uh, want to have uh, like a hundred fish everywhere. So I will, will not be breeding those. That's just, um, as I said, for company. So we've got a lovely Angelicus Plucko wanted to come out and say hi. Quite good with this new camera actually, because um, if I could at least try and hold my arm straight and still, it's got a better zoom on it so I can stand a little bit further away and not spook the fish. Beautiful Angelicus Placo there. So they are quite similar to the L136s uh, and also the L262s, um, but they're sort of pitch black and they a bit chunkier. L262 stay quite small. Um, I've got L262s in this tank actually, um, but they seldom come out for photos. Although there's one. Very good. So, uh, last tank to just give you a real quick update on uh, is going to be the one down here, um, and then we're going to be working on the other ones at a time. So, this tank has had a, a good clean out, um, and it's just uh, a couple of super reds that I'm still waiting for them to sex out or a couple of them that are really quite dirty like this one here that I don't want to breed um, but this is the mustard, mustard spot plucko tank at the moment I feel like I've only got one um, female but I'm not sure I think that one's a female um, and the other one that's a female I think is hiding um, but I feel like I've got more males than females in here they are looking a little bit wiggly. Um, yesterday there was one wiggling in here, however there's an L397 uh, in here now. So I'm probably going to have to take these two spare um, L397 males out um, if I want these to breed. So yeah, super quick little update, uh, just checking in with you guys. Um, I do have a sort of like fish newsy video planned for this week. Um, so I will check back in with you with that one in a couple of days. Thank you so much for watching, see you soon, bye bye.